Um, we're gonna run. We're gonna run one more level and see if I can get it in the two hours. One more level. I'm gonna see if I can get this one level in the two. I don't know. I, I'm well, so excited. I'm gonna run it for a little bit until I get until I'm like, why the f am I doing this? And then I'm gonna probably drive. <laughs> Yay! And celebrate. Let's uh, go. You just picked up your 13 year old. He's pissed. He's missed the, missed the end. I don't blame him. GG I don't congrats. blame him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I'm happy to be done. Happy to be done. Do storks? You guys want to see storks? Let's go. <laughs> Lunky would also be Amazing. great. Amazing. Congrats. Uh, Cake, you like you think you were the five. Yes, you can get the official at grandpoobear.com. You can get the official 1K Kaizo t shirt. Yeah, you can get the official 1K Kaizo t shirt. Oh, wait, how do I do this? Oh man, I don't remember this. What's this level called? This is Shellscape. Yeah, we're celebrating. Yeah. Oh. This is a great journey, congrats. I really pre like I really, really, really do appreciate everyone hanging out for this. Oh, this might be way easier now that I'm better at these. Yeah. What do I do there? I don't remember what to do there. <laughs> what up? Yeah. Okay, yeah. No, let's send her to the let's send her to doggy daycare. Okay, yeah. Let's go tonight. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing a shellscape victory lab. Yeah, I need yeah. to start the timer. Okay. We're not gonna be cheated out of storks. I'll play storks. I promise I'll play storks. We'll play storks this month. Like I'll start it. I don't want to start it today. Is doggy daycare code for something? No. Um No, my wife wants to go to the lake, and so she wants to. Uh, we got to go see one of our friends. They just got diagnosed with. Um, we have actually have two friends under the age of 35 that have MS. One of our other friends just got diagnosed with it, so we want to go see her. Oh, oh, it's okay. It's okay. They all have each other. They have a whole little system. It's kind of, it's actually kind of adorable. I feel like, I feel like the, I feel like they put them together for a reason. You know what I mean? Um, Chad, I don't remember what to do here. Yeah. Uh, so she was just like, we were gonna go down and we were gonna go in the morning, but now she's like, oh, let's go tonight. Since you're finished. And let's celebrate. And I'm like, you know what? Let's. Yeah. You deleted the incentives already? No, I'll, I'll chat. I'll do storks. Everybody, you guys want to see storks? You, are you guys okay with a casual playthrough of Storks this month? If you're okay with a casual playthrough of Storks this month, I'll do I'll do a casual playthrough of Storks this month. Deal? Deal? A casual, just a nice casual playthrough of Storks, yes. <laughs> How is this still going? You want time running? Oh. 
No, I've never played it. Ah, shit. Play Minish Cap? Uh, I mean, we got a month of casual stuff. I really just want to play Elden Ring right now. But I don't want to spoil anything. Yeah, I really, like, honestly, like, I literally just want to, like, play Elden Ring right now. <laughs> What's the incentive for bean hack? Uh, the hack gets patched and becomes fun. No, I've never played Minish Cap. Minish Cap's the only, like, I guess mainline Zelda... Minish Cap and Skyward Sword that I haven't beat. Yeah. Uh, we can vote. We can put up a bunch of casual things. Like, I could play, because I'm not, I'm only going to play like two or three hours of Storks a day. And then another casual side game in between the, before Elmer. Yeah. Love you guys. Thank you guys so much. This has been so, this was such a fun challenge and I really appreciate it. I just really appreciate the love and like support during this. It's been really cool. No, you, I really, really appreciate you guys. Um, I'm doing the Resident Evil 2 camera one. That's on my next um, 24 hour though, which I don't know when that'll be, but it's definitely on my list for 24 hours. That game's not going anywhere, so. Oh! Yes, on Saturday, we got me and Barb are doing Chain Together this Saturday. So if you're into Chain Together, it's happening this Saturday. Uh, don't forget, wishlist my game on Steam. It's, how, why, why are these still going off? Why are these still going off? Holy f What is happening right now? How am I still getting alerts? What do I do there? I don't know what to do on that one, chat. Baron of Shell next? I already... We already did Baron of Shell in this challenge. I mean, this is a bonus game. <laughs> you just bought two shirts? Uh, all the shirt money goes right to the designers and my editor. Basically, it just goes to more editing. I actually, I, I don't ever, I don't touch any of the shirt money. I don't want any of the shirt money. <laughs> it goes to making more content, like right away. Yeah. You're excited for my game? Um, I'm excited that you're excited for my game. I'm excited for us to get the trailer out because like the game over the last, like I'd say week, has become so much better. It's become so much better. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, thank you so much. Release date for the game, TBD. Yeah. He wants to speedrun co-op, beat him up with friends. Dude, is this just running off everyone that got a gift sub right now? What is happening? Holy Christ! The trailer's not out yet. I'm talking about the cat game, but yes. Uh, if you go to SMH Point Wishlist on Twitch chat, you can see the, the cat game. It's called Curiosity. There's two Curiosities on Steam. Ours is the one that's not out yet and has the cat. It's like Halo 3 crossed with Halo 4. No, it's more like Halo 2 crossed with... Um, Apex Legends. Rip all the cute TTS. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't. Oh, balls. Curiosity killed the cat. Want the timer on for this? I do. What about hat money?
Damn it. Um, Apex Legends was a bad choice. Sorry, it's not mixed with Apex Legends. It's mixed with, uh, what game do people love? Grand Theft Auto. Uh, the game's name's Curiosity. Uh, someone will drop a, a link to it in Tickle. YouTube for Scam me right TTS, now. Just kidding, GG. Oh, okay. Stray meets Call of Duty. Will my game be better than Animal Well? Um, it's gonna be very different. It, okay, here's the thing. To say my game, to say our game will be better than Animal Well in any way, oh, shape, form, or fashion is just like incredibly difficult. Series. Great stream as uh -huh. always. Um, it's it's gonna be incredibly difficult because Animal Well is legitimately one of the greatest games that's ever been made, honestly, yeah. Um, and I'm not meaning that, like, I would say this. Our game's gonna be more approachable than Animal Well, but I wouldn't say our game is as smart as Animal Well. Um, purposely. I don't, I, like, Animal Well is a extremely smart game, and our game is, um, our game is actually really smart, but we don't. You don't have to be smart to play it. <laughs> it's not an only up clone, but yeah, I mean that's like, it's not an only up clone in the fact that like, we do a lot. We're a lot more of a game. We have a lot more game in there than just like some other things. Like, but. I mean, at the end of the day, cat go up, baby. I like the genre. Yeah, you're also talking to someone that like literally loves the rage game genre. Like, I love that genre. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I like, I love the genre of rage game. I love foddy and stuff, you know? So, like, I want to keep it foddy. You know, we're keeping it foddy in, but... Ah, shit. It's an up-type game. Oh, come on. The Dark Souls of up games? It's the Citizen Kane of only up games, starring cats. <laughs> oh, Nightbot scolded you for dropping a Lynx? Damn it. Nightbot's a hater. Nightbot's trying to stop my wish listing. Ah! There's a sled. Ah! I missed the shot at Barbaris Studios. Oh my god. You know what? You know what? I'll get Barb to invest in me. Hey, what up, bud? Hi. Did you see me win? Yep. Were you, did you think it was cool? Oh, you didn't watch it? Oh, okay. But it was really exciting when I did. Thank you, thank you, thanks y'all. Honestly, I thought this one was gonna be, if I, I thought this one was gonna be uh, easier than Thumb Shredder chat. I thought Thumb Shredder was gonna be harder than this one. Where's Paco Gutierrez now that the finale happened? Paco Gutierrez is locked up. You think this one's harder than Thumb Shredder? Oh yeah, why do you think that? Because I'm not getting it? Why just spend an hour, an hour and 15 minutes on Thumb Shredder? You did, you did miss the official, the official thousand. This is just for fun. Ah! What's what for? What's those? 
What are those? Those buttons? Uh, they do different things on my stream. Yeah, those do different things for the stream. Do you wish you could press one? Why do you want to press one of those buttons? Pre Which one do you want to press? The one that's moving. That one? Which one's moving? Okay, press that one. Oh, it turns out the lights. Okay, now press the one that looks like it turns on the lights. See? Yep. Oh, you can help me? Oh, okay. Thank you. I know. I'm going to I'm going to offer thumb shredder to GDQ now. No, we already did we already beat it. Yeah, we already beat it. Okay, thank you. Okay. What's on his forehead? Uh, a stamp from gymnastics, yeah. This doesn't hurt my hand. Yeah, I thought Thumb Shredder was just gonna be harder because it hurt uh, hurts my hand. This one doesn't hurt my hand at all. Only 50 minutes over Barb's estimate. What did he estimate, a half hour? Oh, yeah. You know what, for thinking I can't yump, he really had faith in my shell skills. Uh, he's just got a head cut, a haircut. I'm not bald. It, mine's also a haircut. Love the Wu-Tang shirt on him. Wu-Tang's for the kids. Oh my god, chat. My adrenaline was so high and it's like gone. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. The challenge is completed. This is just for fun now. Yeah, this is just for fun. See if we see if we can bang this last hard guy out. It's it's real. I know. Uh, Oh shit. Forgot what you need to do there. Uh, P break? Would everyone still think P break's hard? Not really. I know, Thumb Shredder wasn't even the longest level. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Uh, the longest level was the finale of Cube 5. Took like an hour and a half, yeah. Um, honestly, like I'm just, I don't know, I'm really proud of how we played. Yeah, we, I feel. I just feel like I played really good. I just feel like, I mean, honestly, like... Everything, um... It went really good. We? That was all you? Yeah, that was all you. That was all you, you're right. I just feel like we played really good. I feel like we were making really good reads. I feel like the vibes were just, like, on point and super high the whole time, and... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what's the longest I've ever spent on a level? Um, 
In Mario Maker, 100 hours. In Mario World, I think like 20. Yeah. Yeah, the reads you all were sending me telepathically. Aren't I glad it wasn't 10 minutes a level now? Um, I feel like I got, I feel like, I feel like I got better than I thought I was going to. Um, honestly, towards the end of it, towards the end of it, I felt like I was cranking out like pretty difficult hacks with, with decent quickness. It took a hundred hours on it. Yeah, it was, it was the first level. Um, like even like that 2K shells hack we were saving on time on yesterday. I was like, that's a f hard hack. Yeah. Um, yeah, and once we, anything with shell jumps kind of just became like very doable. Yeah. Um, the last couple days, so I just, I don't know. I, I guess I didn't, I think I, I think I'm a little bit surprised a little bit at, at how well it went. You know? Yeah. I'm just a little bit surprised. Yeah. I was definitely over it. Yeah, I was definitely over it. By the end of it. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, now for 1k levels, but you lose if any take more than 10 minutes. Your new practice made perfect? I know. Uh, yeah. I did know. Yeah, Kyla, we were talking about that. Um... I did. We we've talked a little bit before, um, me and me and him. Uh, we haven't talked in a little bit though. Not since like right out. I feel like right after Elden Ring or right after I moved actually was like when we first last time we talked. Because we used to actually live pretty close to each other too. Uh, and I wanted to go check out his house, but I never got the opportunity to before we left. It was pandemic time, you know. Um, but I need to I need to like rekindle. I need to like rekindle that. I take it you know him as well. Ah, Kyle. Oh, we're free. What am I still doing playing Mario World Chat? I want to just go swing big swords, it's stupid. I don't even want to play Elden Ring because I don't want to ruin it, but I just want to, like, play Elden Ring. <laughs> like, I don't want to ruin the- I don't want to ruin the marathon, but I just want to play. <laughs> I should play DS1 again. That's what I should do. Oh, come on. Big swords. Um. See, that's f awesome. You know what? It's like, it is kind of a small world. In that, in that sense, you know? I know Brian Lee O'Malley is always... Um, Brian Lee O'Malley gets my default favorite author. And also viewer, always. Since he's the oldest. Brian Lee O'Malley, chat, this is not even a joke. The creator of Scott Pilgrim. He's my oldest YouTube member. He's had a YouTube membership longer than anyone else. So shout out to that man. Oh, I can't even concentrate right now. Yo, thank you so much for everybody for all the love afterwards too. Like, y'all didn't have to do that. Oh, 
who's my most famous viewer? Either Adam Cole Chugs or probably Chugs. He's on a weekly TV show. Barb, yeah, Barb Chugs, Cahill. Um, Brian Lee O'Malley. I'm so Dan Giesling, yeah, Dan Giesling, I guess, maybe. Yo, Splinter, thank you so much. Adam Cole, the wrestler, yeah. Um, am I missing someone? Andy Milanakis, that might be. Ludwig doesn't watch me. Felicia, yeah, I guess maybe Felicia. She's not, Felicia doesn't watch me though. She's, we're just kind of friends. She doesn't care about anything I do. She likes me as a human. She just likes me as a human. She doesn't like any of my content. When? I don't think I don't think he watches me anymore, no. I know I'm missing someone right now. Mr. Beast watched me once. How tall is Adam Cole in real life? Um I don't know. Like a little bit under six foot. We're not going out anywhere. We want to go to the sand. We want sand. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Jim's met Adam Cole with me. Falcon Reds. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, odds one's out is prob might be my most, like, I guess. He's got a Netflix show. God! Ball shit! Why isn't this working? Send me a Mario Odyssey hide and seek spot? Yo, send me those spots. I'm running out of good spots. My spots are also good, they just keep checking them. Who doesn't have a Netflix show at this point? I don't. You did, this is just bonus. Mm. Flow. Getting the most famous, Aura, yeah. Barb, Aura. Well, Aura doesn't usually watch my stream because he's sleeping. HK will watch though, so. I assume he hears it in the background. Yeah. I don't want it. I, no, this is this is the highest level I would like to be. Who's the most intelligent person? Why is it Carl? Um, I love talking with Carl um, about the stuff he's passionate about outside of video games. It's way like it's super fun. Um, you know why? Carl does a pretty good job of not making you feel stupid. Like you know what I mean? Like layman's terming it for you. 
And also, you can tell, like, he really loves what he does. Like, Carl doesn't have to do science. He could... Ah! Balls. 954 months till 1k. Only a... Yo, a hundred more hours of watching. Yeah. Uh, well, no, I mean, that's the wonderful thing. I mean, I think the wonderful thing I've learned about, like, getting to hang around, like, science is not just Carl, but just, like, brilliant science minds in general, okay? Is that brilliant science minds sometimes are incredibly, make, like, the most incredibly dumb m moments sometimes, you know? And I think that's, like, why Carl can get got by trolls so many times, you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, but I think that's how it works for anyone. Like, if you're, if you're really great at one thing, like, every once in a while, you might just have a gap. Uh, but my favorite story ever, one of my favorite things ever, is me and Carl were doing an escape room, a big group of us, at a GDQ. And the clue involved using a mother microscope. The viewer, it was gonna, it was a mother microscope. All right? And Carl couldn't figure it out. He hands it to me and I figured it out right away. And it was my favorite moment ever. I was like, I was like, oh my God, wait, could I be a scientist? Could, could I be a scientist? Oh, that's just ADHD. Yeah, I think, well, I mean, I think scientists probably all have a little bit of ADHD. I think that's part of like the hyper focus and learning. By the way, my ads are sending viewers off just saying, what do you mean? We love ads. Chat, chat, type a one if you f love ads in this chat. Yeah. See? Type a one, type a one, type a two if you're exclusively in this chat to watch ads. Yep, see? Ah! Yeah, I can't do anything about ads, man. It's just that's the deal. That's the deal I signed many years ago. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I know. Your ads are scaring people off, by the way. I feel like I have more viewers at any point in time than I had during this, this I'm kind year. of sad that the challenge is over. I'm sad the challenge is over too, but don't worry, we got another challenge. One month, we'll have another challenge. Just as you say that, you get an ad. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> One month, new challenge. You think they mean abs? Oh, my abs are scaring people off. I get it. This is by far my favorite challenge I've done. Thank you, I appreciate that. This one is fun. You know what? You know what? I realized, you know what made this one so great, chat? The f clock. All right? It was the f clock. That's what really made this challenge so great. The f clock. Let's go. Yeah, how is anyone not? Yeah, I feel like everyone's subbed after that. Who's even left unsubbed to see ants? Oh my god. The stupid spring jobs. Oh. The green timer. When the timer was green, the runs were clean. When the timer was red, we all thought the run was dead. I'm sorry. I apologize for that one. Thank you, I appreciate it. You're glad that I did the math run or it would have been too damn easy? It would have been. 
Uh, I think the next one we would have to limit, like... Limit some things, you know, definitely. Like, I think we can all agree that, like, the Learn to Kaizo was... The Learn to Kaizo was a low point in integrity. Yep. You can't stop a hack once I started it. We only we only did that with two. Yeah. And honestly, I just I stop them when they're not fun. Yeah. The problem is, like, Kaizo Intermediates, like, there is such a gap there, you know what I mean? I got a plan for the next time, and I also have a plan to include kind of random boss fights, too. No! I'm Shredder every 100 levels. Uh, next time we'll end with Thumb Shredder's dad. Cheer. Uh, is that fair? Yeah. 10k levels and a thousand hours next time? I feel like that'd be the entirety of. That'd be too many levels. Um. Oh, phew. challenge must include Grand Pool World 3 Tower. I think that might be a good way, just like every, like we have like 10 like mercy levels, you know what I mean? Two, add those in. Ah, come on. A big boss fight every hundred levels. Yeah, like Kaizo 3 Bowser. Problem is like, I guess I played a lot of those boss fights anyway, except for Kaizo 3 Bowser, you know? 240 levels in a continuous 24 hour stream. I feel like the next thing we need is like a wheel to pick a hack. We did, we beat Thumb Shredder, yeah. Let's -a go! I'm gonna try this challenge now. Oh, good. Going to order it differently, but same hacks going from easy to hard. You're gonna do all of the same hacks? Lit. Honestly, I think that would be really fun if people just did the same hacks and tried to beat my time. Ah! Wait. Can I just jump on that and get up there? Do we not even need to do that? But I've been cheesing this the whole time. To end on, well, there's, I think there's only two different versions. I don't know if Glitch Cat's made a third version of Thumb Shredder. But yeah, we can. We can do it, yeah. Add the wheel and pachinko board to you know I you know I want to get the plinko board in. No, I don't think I can do that. Yeah. Do I got a prize if they legit beat my time? I'll be happy for him. Uh, what do you mean? Their prize will be viewers and love and admiration. God, 
Ah, how do I get the, that shell is going too far. It's going too far forward. God damn it. I don't know if you can cheese it. I don't think I was getting, I don't think I got high enough. The wheel has categories. Let's -a go. It was oh. cool to feature a lot of new hacks. We did like have a lot of new hack, hacks. Which yeah. Was awesome. yeah, there was, I mean, there was, we did a ton of new hacks. A ton of really great hacks that I just didn't play, man. And there's still a ton of great hacks that I still didn't play. You know? Like, there's still a ton of really good ones. Yeah, all, all of this confirmed is that this was awesome, and I want to do it again. Um, we're going to change some of the rules up. Make it a little, you know, make it a bit harder. Let's go. But season two, season two will definitely be in the works. to be 1K levels in 1K hours. <laughs> Honestly, that's a solid goal as is. Ah, f uh, Bavaria was great except for that one f level, dude. Hindsight, though, I had two extra hours. Could have hung out forever. Oh my god, that was the one. 2% time to spare. Yeah, I guess when you say it like that, it is. We did cut it relatively close. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Uh, no, we'll do storks. We'll do storks. I'll do storks. I'll do both of Morsel's games uh, this month. Deal? Yeah, we'll do both of them. You'll take it. You'll take it. Deal, chat. You were memeing, but sure. No, I'm going to get it. I can hear you. I mean, I can't hear you, but I can see what you're typing. Rage! Beat 30 levels in 20 hours for all those high Kaiser how-to Kaiser levels. No, we're not getting the dog. Uh, we might get another one, though. Dude, how high would that train have been? Why didn't we get a hype train after the thing ended? How high would that have been? Uh, I know. That's stupid. Let's -a go. Ah. Think I'll end up liking them after some initial frustration. Uh, just judging by how everyone talks about them, but yeah, I think I'll agree. Uh, I want to do fourth chamber. That was one that was recommended to me that I didn't get to. Why can't I catch that f***er, dude? Why, 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 why no catchy? Why no catchy? Yeah. Why no catchy? Let's -a go. You wonder how much overworld at time I still have in my run if I would have paid, caused overworld time? I don't know. Oh, Pop, you mean I wasted all those gift subs without getting a limited emote? I'm sorry. New challenge idea? Sorry, I don't have the Oh. I've come down from my adrenaline, Chad. I've just come down. I was on a I was on a hype adrenaline moment and now I've just come down, you know? Oh. 
Yeah, I'm crashing. Yeah, learn to Kaiza. I don't think just I don't think I can get high enough that though with if I just do it that way. If I just jump on that. I have two hours left from overworld time. Uh, Palamon, thank you for the prime. What about a hundred levels and a thousand hours? Lock the f in. I mean, it's done. It's over. We got our thousand. I'm just. <laughs> we got our thousand. I just didn't want to do an hour long stream. A hundred yumps in ten hours, dude. I could probably do a hundred yumps in a row, to be honest with you. One liar, I could do it. Hundred yumps in a row, yeah. Oh, come on, three tries, hundred yumps in a row, easy peasy. Do I have unlimited try? When am I doing a thousand Mario three pointers? Is that? Hey, I gotta, I gotta look at the three point contest because we gotta do, we gotta beat that as the world premier Switch Sports champion. You don't need to shower me in bits. Y'all showered me in love. And plenty of people showered me in stuff. <laughs> Kinda wild. Ah, come on! Wait, I just got a five gift sub bomb on YouTube? Yo, thank you, involuntary... Uh, wait, what is the... Dude, thank you so much for the five gift subs. You do not have to do that. A fighting game community contains some weird people. You know what? Every community contains weird people. This is a thousand and one, yeah. This is going for a thousand and one right here. Clearly, this is the one I should have done for the end one, you know? I thought I don't know why, but I thought this one was gonna be easier. And I actually think it's I was wrong. Yeah, I beat Thumb Shredder. You think this one's prettier? I think Thumb Shredder has a certain amount of dread to it that I really love. Yeah. Uh, honestly, yeah. I thought this one was... It's just a little bit more traditional, I guess, and it doesn't hurt your hand. The big thing is this one doesn't hurt your hand. Although that was going to be the big thing. I guess I still haven't put in a thumb shredder amount of time in this yet. Though, so. Yeah. I mean, either way, I still think we would have gotten this one in the time we had. Yeah. Thumb shredder's dad. Yeah, we'll do Thumb Shutter's ad. It'll be the last one for the, for the last. I was just clutch before. I was, I dude, my adrenaline was high. You know what, Chad? I was riding the momentum.
No. You think a practice on Baron really helps it? No, Thumb Shutter wasn't even the longest level of the challenge, which kind of blew my mind. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't even... I wasn't even... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened, man. It just worked out. YouTube stream seems to be off, like it just turned off. What do you mean? Off what? Off off the rockas? You did, you missed it. Uh I'm gonna I I wanna beat this. Oh, come on. YouTube's just delayed. Yeah, it's just delayed. Damn it. If I beat this, I have to edit the shirt. A thousand one. Now it's just for fun. Among Kaizo players, you will find a higher than average amount of spicy food enjoyers. I know I haven't done a midair spring jump in forever. Now we have back to back. Was it and then what do I do? And then I have to like juggle that one. Yeah. Right. I already beat Thumb Shutter. I know, I don't know. I it just happened. Right. I think this is I think actually this one I can cheese. I think I only need to hit every other shell. You know, you've eaten this one, right, Shao? Yeah. The ending, I the ending on this one was the thing that like was so hard. You know what? I will say, Shao. Before I could never do these little backdrops, and then after Baron, now I'm good at them. You know what I mean? Whereas, like, before I could just never do them. And that's thanks to you. Ah! You got me good at backshotting. What up, Baba Yaga? We're done! We're done, Baba Yaga. We're done. We beat Thumb Shredder. Game over. Game over. We've got the thousand. Now give me your boss rush hack. Let me play it. No! Let me play it, baby. Shell twerks. <laughs> ah, come on, too far. Yeah, dude, it was it was really cool. I like that one. Real B Chin, give me your hack now. I'm over. I need, now I need new stuff. Ah, not so far enough. <laughs> you missed me winning because you played a game of chess. Did you win?
No, why am I not getting this? Can you just hold jump with those? Is that it? Do I need to just hold jump? Less time than I expected too, to be honest with you. Piece of garbage. Oh my god, I'm so bad at that. How long, Slum Shredder? It's already done. Already done. This is just a bonus level. This is just for fun. This is just, this is now, it's just, we're just trying to make a flex. Do I ever get very tense in my neck and shoulders? Yeah, dude, my neck gets wrecked. But that's mostly because I sit like a, um, like a 90 year old. Thank you. That's not it, either. Yeah. <laughs> you were cracking up? I'm glad you were cracking up, because I was, I was like, holy f Baba Yaga is the best looking man I've ever seen at GDQ. I was like, what are you doing here? Isn't Love Island casting going on right now? Like. Don't inflate his head anymore. Well, he was inflating something else of mine. I'm about to get a six month ban from GDQ for sexually harassing Baba Yaga next time I see him. Yeah. Dude, y'all, chat. I'm not even joking. He was like, like a traditionally hot man. He has a chin dimple, chat. Like, who the f got a chin dimple? I thought that only existed in comic books. Dude, I didn't get a, I didn't get a pick with him because I didn't. I was scared I would just automatically change my phone background to it. Like picture Superman in rolled up jeans, but with appropriate muscles. Oh, you sent me the photo? Yeah, send me the photo. Ta no, tag me publicly in it. Kaizo chat, yeah. No, the hair's high and tight like I like it. Listen, chat. Listen, chat. Okay, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you guys here. Listen, alright? Sexuality is not an on-off switch. It's a spectrum, right? And most of the time, if over here is loving women, you know, I'm pretty much right about there most of the time. When I saw Baba Yaga, I creeped all the way over to here. All the way over. He made me creep all the way over to this part of the line. Right there. Right there. I don't know what that, I don't know what that line is. I think that line's like maybe like hand stuff. But that's where I got. Big slide, chat. Big slide. Big slide.
Are you doing this? Uh, well, I mean, to be fair, I don't think I am gonna finish this one. Maybe we could just cheese it. I don't know. I need to get that shell, though. Well then. I guess we could just cheese it. Should have listened to me and quit my job. No, it's definitely not intended that way. 100%. Oh, I'm honestly surprised that worked. I need to hit that text box to win. Ah. What game did Baba Yaga play at GDQ? Um, he was playing this hack he's creating that's just like this cool boss rush let's go Resonor not thing. saying i told you so but i'm not not saying it ah. you told me so on what that i would bang it out quick hack in history no it's just a bunch of cool levels it was like a bunch of really cool nifty little resnor fights it was cool would i quit my job to become a streamer like me personally would i quit my job to become a streamer rick yeah is that what you're asking? In today's economy? <laughs> yeah, be safe. Probably couldn't today. Um, honestly, if I started today, I probably couldn't. Rick, you're adorable. That was, that was, Rick, you don't know how happy you made me. You're so, you're so cute. Uh, Rick, I would quit it. In fact, I quit it eight and a half years ago. <laughs> I really appreciate that, though. That means a lot to me. I quit it eight and a half years ago. <laughs> yep. The time of the orc has come. I don't think anyone can be a streamer anymore. Like, just a, you can't just be a streamer. Like, when I started, I was literally just a streamer. Like, I didn't even make YouTube videos, you know what I mean? When I first went full-time. Um, I don't think you can just be, like, a streamer anymore. But, yeah. But that means a lot to me, Rick. Yeah, I've been doing it. I've been doing it full-time for eight years now, man. Um, yeah. Ah!
All right, let's see if this works. Oh, and what do I do there? How do I do that? What do I do on that part? Do I even need that? Yeah, I don't even know if I need that thing. And then I just want it, because I want to get the P-Switch next, right? Now I'm wondering if I even need that thing at all. Has there been anyone sub for eight years? Uh, yeah, there's a, well, what do I want to say? I think, what's eight times 12? There's people that have been subbed for longer than that. Yeah, I've been, I've been streaming longer than eight years. Yeah, I've been streaming longer than eight years. I've been streaming now for, we're going to my 11th year. Yeah, we're almost on my 11th year. Um, for about two years, I didn't make any money off of it. And then it, and then it started to get big. Um, and then I got partnered because back in the day they didn't have affiliates, right? Um, they didn't have the affiliate program back in the day. Um, and then, yeah, we beat Thumb Shutter. Yeah, we beat it. Um, oh, I would hate to be the Hawk to a girl. Like, she should definitely take advantage and, like, risk everything right now, but I don't know what her next thing is going to be. I don't know how you top that. Yeah. She's been offered a reality TV show to do what? She can just live on her looks? Um, I don't think she's that type of... She, it's, I don't think she's got that type of vibe. Yeah, I don't think she's got that type of vibe, personally. You know what I mean? I think she had a really... She's more of a funny vibe. Yeah. I like, I like her friend that's just like, that was in the background of the interview, that's like in the background of everything with her now, and I kind of just love that, yeah. Um, no, I think she's, she's gotta, she's gotta, here's the thing, right? She's got somewhat of a personality in the, like, funny kind of crash, brew, you know, kind of brood way. And I think there is like definitely like a gap for that, but she's got to figure out where that gap is because like, just saying, you know, just like going places and screaming Hawk Tua one time is going to get, people will get over that. But at the same time, like she should absolutely be risking it all right now. She should absolutely be risking it all. You know, like, I've seen people saying, like, oh, she doesn't, she shouldn't be quitting her job and going to L.A. I'm like, bitch, she should absolutely be quitting her job and going to L.A. Yeah. Didn't really think it was that shocking or funny. It, it's not. It's not. And here's the thing. I was saying about this yesterday. The reason it's so popular is not because it's shocking or funny or anything. It's not because it's shocking or funny or anything. It's because there's a lot of men out there that want to get their dick spit on, but don't know how to ask for it. So instead, they just reshare this video, hoping that people will catch on that they want to get their dick spit on. Yeah. That's, that's the real thing. Oh, my days? That's why you told your wife about the video? Yes! That's why every man sent their wife the video that was like, oh, isn't this so funny? <laughs> yeah. Oh. 
the grapefruit method? Is the camera just focused on my junk? Not expecting to hear what Tevin turning on the video right away. We were just talking about her fame. Now that being said, with that being said, I think she she's got to she's got to capitalize on it. Use it all right now. Do whatever she can. Blah blah blah. You know what I mean? I agree like absolutely she use it. it. She Getting should. famous seems the hardest part of being famous. It is. Hey, you know what? Having a moment like that is so hard. Oh no. Yeah. Having a like uh just an otherworldly moment like that, you know what I mean? Like the closest I'll ever get is poo stomp. The guys doing the interview are upset. Well, you know what? The guys doing the interview shouldn't be upset. That's your best case scenario if you're doing the interview thing. Because you're like the interview on the street content, you're not that's not you. You're not making content, you know? You're making content of other people's personalities. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the thing. I think it just that's what I'm saying. It just was like it was a sex positive thing, you know? That's what, I, what I'm saying. What I'm saying is the whole reason it's big is because there was a bunch of guys out there that have never had that, kind of want that. And they don't know how to ask for it because how do you ask for that? Yeah. These guys are awkward. Well, yeah, I don't actually, I don't want the hawk part, honestly, yeah. I don't want the hawk part. It did have creative memes. It was something that at worst case, I feel like was kind of universally loved, but then it just got too big. You know what I mean? It was just universally accepted or loved or like, okay, that was fine. But then it just got way too big. So then it's gonna get the backlash of like, oh my God, I can't stand this anymore. The natural, like the natural order of things. The Kansas City Chief thing of it, if you will. Yeah. Oh, that's the dream if you get a, a drum and bass, like an EDM song named after your something you said. extra yeah the challenge is done this is just extra we're gonna see if we can bang this out yep seeing the hundred out but all of a sudden time is moving so slowly Yeah, I think she should ride it out as long as she can and either she'll fall into something else, right? Either she'll fall into something else or she won't. And it'll be like, she can tell her grandkids about that 
wild two year year and a half she had. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um Well once you know how to do something, it's pretty automatic. You know, like ah. Whenever you try playing Mario Hacks, you're basically a potato for an hour. Um, do you think about what you're doing? See, I don't really think about what I'm doing. I found that when I think about what I'm doing, I play poorly. Ah, shit. She could become a Kaizo Mario streamer and get sponsored by Red Bull. There's only one Kaizo Mario streamer that's ever gonna be sponsored by Red Bull, okay? I'm joking, I hope I hope they get someone else once it's done. Ludwig, Ludwig, did you guys see Ludwig? Did you see him shell jump? Did you guys see Ludwig shell jump? Did you see that mother it was so hard for him to shell jump. It barely shell jump. That. Ludwig Ray Swin. I'll race him in I'll race him in a thousand Kaizo levels. a bunch of shit on him um i'm better at rage games than ludwig there we go when it comes to going up i destroy ludwig yep in fact it's so bad they were like they were like Listen, when you guys both play rage games, only only Pooh Bear can wear the Red Bull logo. You need to put it out. <laughs> Unless it's Jump King. Except for Jump King. Yeah, actually, I take it back. He would destroy me in Jump King. Weirdly, Jump King is the one that f pisses me off. Yeah, I've never played Pogo Stuck, so yeah, he's definitely better than me at that one, too. Yep, how am I doing? Having me as the pro in Jump King Rivals was hilarious. Hey, I didn't come in last. I wasn't the dead last pro, though. Remember? At least I wasn't the dead last pro, but... Yeah, I don't- I- I'll never understood how that one worked. They were hard up on pros. The only thing that annoyed me was one of the guys who was an amateur had beaten the game like seven times. Uh, me and Barb were doing Chain Together on Saturday. Loved her. Loved Emily. How did I get the Red Bull sponsorship? Um... A guy that I, so I did a charity event and the guy who ran the charity event later on gets a job at Red Bull and he invites me out to Red Bull campus and stuff just to meet people and do a whole thing. And then in the middle of this invite, I realized, whoa, this isn't just an invite. This is like a, this is like an interview and a pitch. And... We did some like light flirting, me and the bull, 
over the next few months. And then, um, <laughs> yeah, we did some light flirting, okay? And then, uh, then there was radio silence for a while. And then, um, one day, all of a sudden, John Jackson shows up my house, one of my favorite snowboarders of all time. And he's like, hey, you're a Red Bull athlete now. And I'm like, yo, I didn't even sign a contract. But I will, okay. And then they gave me the contract, and I was like, whoa, this is not enough money. But I'll do it anyway. And then they gave me the second contract, and I was like, whoa, this is a lot more money this time. Thank you. Yeah. Then I just got free Red Bull. I did just get a bunch of, uh, like, an absolute shit ton of hats. They did just send me an astronomical amount of hats and stuff. Yeah. Like, I just got a big swag box yesterday. Yeah. When's my next contract renewal? Uh, we're talking about it right now, actually. But here's the thing, chat. I hope someone from Red Bull is watching it. What I'm doing before I before we talk numbers on my contract is I am booking an ass like I am booking an astronomical amount of stuff for next year, right? I'm just trying to like, oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. Like just get stuff on the books and then be like, oh man, what are you what are you gonna do? Oh god guys, yeah, I want I want I want a little bit more. I'm just saying. <laughs> no. There was never any doubt. There was never any doubt. There, there's, it's not like a, um, to be honest with you, they're gonna give me a number and I'm gonna say yes. And there's not a negotiation. I don't get my managers or anyone involved. Like, they treat me really well um, and super fairly and always have, and they will do it again. Yeah. No. I know it was empty. It was empty that time. Are there Grand Pooh Bear plus Red Bull hats? Uh, the only, only Ninja is the only one I can ever remember getting like gear with Red Bull on it. Yeah. Uh, I think I have more Red Bull hats than regular hats at this point. Yeah. Damn it, dude. I'm throwing that one in the wall. Damn it, I want this. I want to get this, chat. Yeah, I really want to get this. I really want to get this one, too, because that would just be extra swag, you know? Oh, come on. How long till B can drink Red Bull? Uh, I mean, probably when he's an angsty teenager, he'll probably drink some. I don't know, how long? When did you start breaking rules that your parents gave you? <laughs> yeah, when you were 42, nine-ish, so yeah. I don't know. I don't know whenever he'll... I don't know when he'll break in and try one. I'd imagine it'll be before he b tries booze, though. Come on! Grab the blue one! <laughs> Make a GPB flavor? Uh, get on a can. Oh, can I tell you guys my real dream? My real Red Bull dream? 
Okay, so all the Red Bull meeting rooms are named after their, like, goat athletes. And I really want to get a meeting room named after me. That's my, that's my real goal. Ah! Yeah. That would be sick, right? But, you know. The men's bathroom? That would work. The Cram Pooh Bear commemorative bathroom. Yo, what's going on, Chris? No tier one, that shit. No, no sub for sub. No, I'd want to name Grand Pooh Bear Room. No one's going to remember me for my real name. I'm cool with that. Company directory was a bar across the street. That's really funny. Do you remember my real name? Don't. Uh, Chris. I said, Chris, I put out here, my next goal is by the end of the year, I want to be able to beat you and Aggie at bingo. That's my next goal. I want to, I, wa I don't care. I don't care how many times I got to get beat. Oh, that'll never happen. Oh, now, now my resolve has gotten resolved her. Now my resolve has gotten resolved her. I am, I am resolvedist now. God damn it. Now it's happening. Not only will I beat you both individually now, me and Barb will beat you as a group team. Only a year? I said by Christmas. I had to do so much shit to catch up. Yeah, but you know what? You know what? You had to learn all that shit. All that stuff's already set out for me, right? And I'm going to have you to bother. Never happen? It's going to, now it's going to happen. It's got to happen. Oh, we're going to dominate. What up, bro? Tell Chris, tell Chris I'm going to kick his ass. I'm, I, we are playing women's. Oh, oh. You and mom are playing women's? Yeah. What's women's? I gave him a crystal and I gave him this bag to keep it in. Oh no, did the crystal break? Oh. No. He said we're playing women's. Now these are just trolls. They turned into trolls. <laughs> Wait, how did they turn into trolls? No, I didn't. I hide it. I gave him this bag to keep something and he's like, let's play women's. We're this playing thing. women's? He just said we're and playing said, women's. And these are our weapons and so we're like. Yeah. I'm cleaning up purses and we're I need you to talk I need you to talk some smack to Chris though. Um, do you need a snack? Do I need a snack? Yeah. Um How you going until winter? Well, I have one more hour technically left in the timer. Oh yeah. So, so I want to finish the timer. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we finish out we the timer. I was trying to my, get my kid to talk shit, but he won't. Ain't no conversation to have, man. I'm so excited! Yo, hey, whoa, thank you for the 50! What the f Why would you give me 50 fing subs? Holy shit! Uh, damn, I even do not deserve that. Women's are playing me. <laughs> We're playing women's. Uh, this level's called Shellscape. Holy f shit. This is the most subs I've had all year. We're 250 subs from being back to 5k. <laughs> um, every boy wants to play the women's. He's cute with it.
Ah, oh, shit. Timer on so screen excited. equals subs. Killer Toad, thank you so much. Uh, I gotta figure out, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with the, um... With the, um... With Elden Ring, I gotta figure out what the hell I'm gonna do. Go. Uh, Melania cosplay. I'm gonna have a. Uh, I ha definitely have a rainy Just day. A rainy cosplay day. Having beat the 1,000 levels, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, I have a rainy cosplay day. We have a uh, gloom-eyed queen day cosplay day, which is uh, Melena. Uh, you know your your girl, your girl. I got both of those. I have a. Um, we're doing a cosplay day of the character that I won with, with the anchor. Um, I have a cosplay day for, I feel like we gotta get, we should, we probably need Melania. I wanted to do Radon, but I was like, this is too much. Yeah. Ah! Yeah, so only a loincloth. One hour, we already won. We already won, this is bonus. One of those names will be pronounced correctly. Chris, Chris, I know you're just subbed here, but if you know anything about me, I'm not gonna pronounce anything correctly. But I will, here, I've got an update on my lore though. Do you guys wanna hear the update on my lore? All the lore I know for for um, Elden Ring? Dude, we're going hard on lore for this next play. It's not my fault. Who names their kids Melania Melania? Mel Melanania. Roderick, Roddy, Godwin, Gotti. Yeah, Radagon. Once you start learning the Elden Ring lore, though, you do realize Elden Ring is quite possibly the gayest game that's ever been created. And I mean that, like, in a positive way. Like, like it is... It is... Uh, it is everything. Yeah, it is. It is a, it is a very... It is covering the entire spectrum. Just Radagon America alone... I mean, Radagon is a, a nine-binary trans icon. Yes. You know what's funny is I didn't play, I didn't ever fought Mog outside of the randomizer, which is really funny. I never, I never knew how to found him. I never did Rainy's quest. I was always a uh, frenzied flame follower of the three fingers. I still never went down there, Chris. I beat Thumb Shredder in under an hour, yeah. I was just like, hey, Rainy, I love you. Are we getting nervous? I already won. No, I already won. There's a portal right to him, no quest needed. Where's that portal? Literally, I'm one of those people that never beat Mog, so. Either way. Either way, once I get so good at Elden Ring that I'm just destroying Chris so quickly. He's offended. Actually, that's the big thing. I want I want full spoilers on like quest lines. Yeah. Yeah.
It's like if you said you could beat me at a Kaizo race before Christmas, would I believe that? Actually, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I think, I feel like you could get pretty good pretty quickly. But the difference is, the difference is, Chris, look at how amazing I already am at video games. And I, but I'd imagine, yeah, I'd imagine that like, um, most Souls players would actually be pretty good at Kaizo Mario. But I, you know what, I've re I honestly, I think most speedrunners would be good at a lot of other people's games in general. Um, the biggest problem I'll always have with a game like Elden Ring is just like, um, I am horrible with the names of areas in general and just like memorizing maps. And that is like, that is years and years of knowledge. That would be the hard part to actually let go. Well, that's being said, Chris. Let the, that being said, that being said, right, right? That being said, Chris, scared money don't make money, all right? I don't wanna say, oh, I just wanna be invited to a bingo, okay? Oh, I just wanna get good enough to maybe get invited to a bingo with them. No. I want to get good enough to smack the f shit out of both of you. I'm going to be like Tyler one with chess now. Yes. I said bragging about being good at games is I don't beat a level that I've been playing here. Nah, no joke, I'm pretty bad at Souls games too. You. <laughs> you wanna bet on it? Loser has to drink a Red Bull? You've never had a Red Bull? I don't want to. I don't want to get an addiction started for you. Um, absolutely, I'll bet on it. Ah! Um, they're very good, and caffeine is addictive. Pad press. <laughs> it's definitely my favorite way to take caffeine. Oh, you f Yeah, why don't we bet something uh, less, like one million dollars? <laughs> If I win, Chris, you have to do get the world record in my rage game that's releasing. I did, we, we did, we nailed Thumb Shredder. We're trying to get a bonus. Yeah, we're trying to get a bonus here. I know, we're trying to get a bonus level, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. We should have made this the final level hindsight, chat. I thought Thumb Shredder was gonna be harder, I'm sorry. I just was unaware of how good I was gonna be. That's what I want to do. Yeah. I'm trying to go for the guaranteed sales. I know. Don't apologize for being a boss. Well, I was hoping it would at least, I mean, I, I, I someone said it's going to be pretty anticlimactic if I just beat it, right? And then I was like, man, they're kind of right. I hope I don't just beat this really quick. 
and then we did, and I'm like, oh man, yeah, you're right. That was a little, a little, a little anticlimactic. Yeah. God. Yeah, Iron Mod was anticlimactic too. I skipped a level. Now, if anything, I think I forgot to put in a couple levels. Yeah, if anything, I think I forgot to put in a couple. It was more likely the other way, but other people checked it. Yeah, other people checked it. Yeah, should have thrown for yeah. I should have thrown for content right there. That should have been the first time I actually threw for content. Modify the timer in the edited YouTube videos so will be more dramatic. seeing chats mixed on the overlay. Uh, I mean, you guys are just noticing it because YouTube's pretty active today. Yeah. Forgive me for being too good at thumb shutter. This is called Shellscape. Uh, Wild Grim made this. This is actually the first time I heard of Wild Grim. He posted a video of this level and I was like, what the f***? Who is this monster? supposed to do there yeah wild germ made this I don't know what to do right there Grim is a cool dude I don't know him well but Um, he seems like a cool, nice dude with a pretty dry sense of humor. Who kind of keeps to himself. I guess a lot of people in streaming kind of keep to themselves, though, you know what I mean? I, I wouldn't say it's the most socially... or the most socially active people. Which is not good, like, I, I was talking to a friend last night, and... You know, like, he was just talking about how, like, he's a little out of the scene now, and he thinks, you know, it's kind of hard to, like, talk to people that are in the scene, but that's where all his friends are, you know what I mean? And then, like, um... Just felt bad. Felt bad he felt that way, you know? And then I was, like, busy doing dad stuff, so I was like, I felt so bad because I wanted to, like, link up, but I was busy with dad stuff. Yeah, I know it sucks. It sucks. You know what? I feel it though too. Like even when I like when I was doing GTA, like I didn't talk to like any Mario people. You know what I mean? It's like we're not even just like when you separate communities, it kind of happens.
What do I want? Um, what do I do there? Do I just hold it? This one's harder. Thumb shutter or shellscape? I thought thumb shutter was harder, but apparently this one's harder. There. Yeah. I don't remember what to do there, chat. Come on, I'm cheating. Oh, okay, I need to throw that shell up. Okay, got it. I got it. Yeah, I need to kick it up. Yep. Am I cheating off myself? Yes. I am cheating off myself. unacceptable in your book. There. Totally not in the spirit of the challenge. Challenge is over. This is no challenge anymore. This is just because I guaranteed y'all 100 hours of Mario World. And I'm giving you 100 hours of Mario World. I was trying to get all the way over. <laughs> Counts in your books. What if you want a thousand hours? Uh, next summer. How many hours of Mario do you, I think I have on YouTube? Oh, I don't know, I mean, probably only, probably. Uh, not 10,000. I don't know. I mean, I have a lot of videos. I guess not all of them are Mario. A lot, a lot of hours. Definitely over a thousand hours of Mario on YouTube for me. I would guess. Not 10,000, no, less than 10,000 hours of Mario. I mean, I've only streamed like 5,000 hours of Mario. Of Mario World. And then like another... Some odd of Mario Maker. Oh god. And Wonder? Yeah, wonder. I don't know. It'd be tough. Yeah, and the way we do Mario World now is we just shove a whole hack into one video. Regardless of how many hours it takes me to play it. those. We're actually almost done with this level chat. Uh, 
wait, wait, wait. What do I do with those? And then we knock both of the other two. Okay, so I want to toss this up, throw that one, toss that one up, knock, throw, throw, knock. Okay. 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 And then the end. What up? What are y'all doing? You have something for me? What do you have for me? Oh, you guys made me a little bowl? Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's a little Grand Pooh Bear bowl. Yeah, he got a... Hey. Look, this is the poo. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, yeah. it's the it has poo on it? Yeah, because you, your middle your middle game name is poo. Oh, so you put poo on it? Yeah. Oh, but poo means love. Yeah. You silly. That's so cool. I love it. Thank you so much. Did you make that? You and mama? Well, you did the bowl part. Yeah, you did the bowl part, right? You did the poo part? Okay. Oh, I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Oh. You're not making it easy by moving my chair here. You're making it really hard, bud. I love you. Go paint. That was so cool. <laughs> uh, thanks to Hacks. Thanks Mario Hockey. Thanks Krizzle again. St. Mahoney. I missed that one earlier. I'm sorry. Damn it, you want a kid? Yeah, you guys only see the fun and cute parts, dude. You don't get to see the rest. You have a 17 year old and then a newborn coming next month? Whoa. Did you have the 17 year old when you were kind of young? Um, no, we're making a rage game. Had your first one when you were 17? Wow. How does the 17 year old feel about it? I mean, that's practically their kid. Ah, shit. Oh, no. I appreciate that. I. Listen, I was just trying to have fun. You're happy it's a girl? I wanted a girl. I have the boyest boy of all boys. Do I like Eminem? Yeah, sure, fine. Do I like Houdini? No. I don't like that song. I wouldn't say I'm a big fan of the Tobey Maguire song either. Um, but I like Big Sean a lot, so... Uh, Carlos screams. I think boys and girls probably both have their own advantages and disadvantages. And things that will arise that applies to neither and applies to both. You know? Just saw Inside Out with your 21 year old girl. Dude, 
Inside Out 2, Inside Out 2 was serious. Inside Out 2, um... It definitely made me realize a little bit about my own anxiety, you know? You just woke up in Japan? Let's go. I'm going for level 1001, but I promised 100 hours. I'm giving 100 hours. So we're going to try and crank this out. I should have done this one. We should have picked this one, chat. I don't know why I didn't pick this one. I'm an idiot. Ah! You're inside out too with an 18 plus year old child's brutal. The only thing I... The only thing I... Uh... Riley's deep dark secret is that she smoked and then they tried to make it like she just burned the carpet but she burned the carpet smoking yeah not a spoiler I mean it's an after credit scene and I just head can it's not a spoiler because that's my head cannon Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? If none of you go watch Inside Out 2 because I spoiled the after after credit scene slightly, slightly, which you don't even know what I'm talking about, you weren't going to go see it anyway. Oh. Don't be rude. I'm not being rude. Right, but rude, but rude, but rude. What's rude? But rude. Listen, I can't live my life on your, I can't decide what I'm gonna talk about based on what you've watched. I don't know your personal watch history, okay? I think it's rude for me to not be able to talk about something just because you haven't seen it. Yeah. I can't talk about every week. Every week I get yelled at because I want to talk about House of the Dragons. People are like, I haven't watched it yet. I haven't watched it yet. I'm like, well, f***ing watch it. Okay? It came out. It's out. Watch it. Last episode was amazing. Riley was Riley was in on January 6th, yeah. That happens in Inside Out 2, by the way. Yeah. Riley gets another new emotion called conspiracy theory. <laughs> that part's wild. Yeah, that part's wild. Too busy watching me. I agree. I agree that there should be some some compensation for spoilers. But the idea that we just can't discuss anything about it at all, ever. I hate. Uh, I would say I'm more into House of the Dragon than I was. I mean, I, I don't know if I'm more into House of the Dragon than I was Game of Thrones. Like, I was pretty Game of Thrones obsessed. But I don't think I could ever be more into it because I have like that, like, it's like House of the Dragon is like my second love. You know what I mean? Like I'm protecting myself a bit more, you know? I just finally got to the last Casa Mora. 
episode on Love Island, and holy f shit, that show's so good. Kaylor in tears for like a week straight. Kaylor's weird to me because she's definitely like in tears all the time. And then as soon as they're like, we're going to play a game where they make out. She's like, we got to win. Latest episode of Hot D was a banger. It was. It was sad. It was sad. Also a banger. Hot D is weird with spoilers too because like since the way the books work, it's like it's all very out there. Yeah. I did the 1K already. Yeah. I actually don't think going left is doing anything for me right there. Damn it. Yeah. What is Love Island? Why is it? Oh, it's the trashiest of trash TV. Oh my god, it's the worst of the trashy TV. Love Island is a show, it's a streaming only show on Peacock, okay? And it's on every day but Wednesdays. Literally, it's on every day but Wednesdays, and they're basically, it's like live recaps. Like, this is what happened yesterday. So it's like happening in real time, right? And it starts off with a bunch of people on an island and then they, you know, they couple up and then they bring in new people and then they have recouplings and, you know, they keep going and going and going and going and going. And, and if you get, if basically if like there's seven girls and six guys and the guys will each pick a girl and then the one girl left is like, bounce, sorry, you're dumped. You're dumped, right? And it's, you know, they're there 24 hours, they couple, they have to sleep in the same bed from like the minute they're coupled. You know what I mean? So things get pretty intense. Like, I don't know if you've ever spent like, if you spend like 72 straight hours with someone, that's essentially like three weeks of dating. Like that, like 72 straight hours with someone is a lot more intense than like a, we going on a date today, tomorrow, then we went on a date two, two days later. You know what I mean? For a couple hours. It's just a lot more intense, right? So these people, they get, you know, feelings happen. They fall in love, right? You know what I mean? And then, right as soon as everyone is pretty much settled down and the show's getting pretty boring because no one's switching up, they do this thing called Casa Amor, which is where they split up all the couples, put them into separate houses, and then bring what can only be known as the sluttiest humans that have ever existed in the history of time to basically try and break them up. Yeah. They bring in the slowest humans ever. And they don't give them alcohol like the whole time, right? Until they get to cost some more. Then they get a little bit of alcohol. You know what I mean? Maybe like three bottles of wine between them. Not a lot. Not a lot. Not enough where, not enough where you're like uncomfortable, but definitely more where they're making like different decisions than they normally would you know what i mean people are people are talking a little a little more open and things like that a little more feely you know you can tell right uh it's called love island it's on peacock it's so good love island usa and there's different there's different love islands for different countries right so like there's one for australia there's one for uk there's one for america uh there's one for australia and, you know, they're all on Peacock. So, like, if you're, like, run out of it. It's amazing for the summer because it's on every f***ing night. It's on every f***ing night. It is a lot like the Vault. Vault Tech. The best part, Chad, is they had a COVID season. In the middle of COVID. They had a straight-up COVID season that happened on the Strip in Vegas. But nobody's, like, on the Strip at the time. They, like, rented out one of those day clubs in Vegas to do it. And nobody's on the strip, so it's like this weird, like, ghost town in Vegas, and they're the only ones there. That was a cool season. Yeah. It sounds like a Bachelor in Paradise. They have Love Island games. It's different. Yeah, Bachelor in Paradise is different. Um, 
Bachelor in Paradise is more like Love Island games. Oh, come on. Yeah. I just got... I, we're at the recoupling. We're at the Casa More recoupling. And we're like, what the hell happened to Daniel? Or what the hell happened to Aaron? Aaron... Aaron is an idiot. Aaron's the biggest idiot ever in Love Island. Because, like, he... Had, so, Aaron had... There's this guy, Aaron and Kaler, right? And Kaler's this really pretty blonde girl, big fat ass. She has the literal prettiest eyes of any human I've ever seen, right? And Aaron and Aaron and Kaler are like the it couple, right? And the, at the end of the show, fans vote on which couple's the best and they get like $50,000 or something, right? So Aaron and Kaler were a shoe-in twin, right? Aaron goes to Casa more and is making out with a girl in like, within like, I don't know, four hours? Like four hours. And he spends like two and a half days basically like, just being with this girl, like, yep, I'm leaving Kayla, I'm leaving Kayla, I'm leaving Kayla. And then something happened and his whole demeanor switched. And now his homie's gonna bring the girl back in the house because that's because good TV has to happen. Yeah, that's what I felt like. I felt like his friend's bringing her back for him. Yeah. Chat, it's the best worst show ever. The only problem I have with it is the internet loves this girl, Leah, on the show. And I, in our house, we can't stand her. We can't stand this girl. She's, she is a... We don't like her. Yeah, we don't like her at all. She's pretty, but she's the worst. But she's really good TV. So Leah had this girl, Rob, right? And he got a new girl and she was butthurt. I mean, butthurt about it. Like it's all she would talk about for three or four episodes. Like get over it, jeez, Leah. Anyway, she gets the chance and she sends home Rob's girlfriend and then basically tries to get back with him the next day. And then pretends like that wasn't like her master plan. Yeah. Oh, Liv's the worst. I don't think Liv likes anybody. I don't think Liv wants to kiss any human. Liv is just a mean girl, dude. She's just asexual Regina George. I don't know what she's doing on the fucking show. She's a literal mean girl. Lives so bad that she's she's basically bullying Leah, and I feel bad for Leah, even though I think Leah sucks. Oh, Love Island's good. It's messy, too. This season's really good, too. The only thing I'd say with the show is, like, it gets, it's really bad once everyone's basically like, yes, I'm in this couple, and nothing's going to change that. Yeah, it's on P I think you get Peacock for free. I think you can get Peacock for free if you have like anything that has NBC. It's unedited. Not that there, there's no titties or anything, but like there's some butts, some abs, some bulges. If you girls are into bulges or questioning guys. Um, last season had two girls that almost flipped the whole game on their on their head by they were they were hooking up and they they almost chose each other but then didn't. Yeah, it's a good show. 
Well, you know what's really good about it? So the way the way it works is the way it works is like so like one week basically like the women have all the power one week, right? Because there's more girl or there's more guys than girls. So the, they know it's going to be like the women have the power. But then the next week they bring in like three hot women and then you just see like this power dynamic dynamic shift, right? And because it's not only like you don't only have to you're not only trying to keep your person because you have emotions attached. You also have to keep them you have to also have to like keep someone to stay in the house, right? Yeah, you also have to keep someone to stay in the house. So it creates these amazing power shift dynamics that you can see in real time. You have a 19 month old and she doesn't use many full words. Any advice? Yo, my son really didn't talk at all until he was three years old. He did not say really any words at all. He was pretty much completely silent until about three years old. And then he just started spitting out full ass f sentences. And he is not stopped. Yes. Was that scary? Um, it was, but we kept going to the doctors. And like it was very, the doctor was like, look, he's paying attention to everything. He's observing everything. He's just waiting till his moment. And I would say that's just true with my kid. Sometimes he wants to make sure he understands it before he attempts it. Hey, he just does that a lot. Yeah, he just does that a lot. And it didn't do anything. Yeah, Bergy was on last season. Yeah, so as long as he's like, as long as he's like, um, if, if he's observant, you know, as long as your kid's like observant and looking at the world and things like that, um, I don't think you really have much to worry about, but it was, um, it definitely was something that like we were, especially as other parents were having those milestones, like, when's it gonna happen? And the doctor was like, it'll happen, it'll happen, it'll happen, it'll happen, it'll happen. You can do this if you're worried, but it'll happen. And she was right, eventually it did. Yeah, you guys want to know something crazy? It was my actually my first subathon. I came out. Like I went in the subathon and he pretty much wasn't talking at all, and then I came out and he was just like full sentences. Yeah. Why don't I stream on kick? Um, I guess the better question is why would I stream on kick would be the best question. Like what are they offering me? Like what is being offered over there that I can't get on other places? Yeah. Save you from ads? What is that gonna do? Yeah. I mean, there's so many less viewers on Kick. you know what I mean? I only have so much bandwidth. You know Kick's gonna have to have ads one day, right? Like, that whole, like, no ads on Kick thing isn't gonna last forever. Yeah. There's no viewership experience. I just don't see, I don't see what, I don't see any ad of benefit Kick would give me, even as a multi-stream platform. Its reputation is not ideal right now. Ah, shit. I can be naked on joystick? Mm, see, now we're talking. I just gotta get one of them sweet, really sweet, non-exclusive multi-million dollar kick contracts they're giving out. <laughs> yeah, I think they ended that one after XQC. I think, I think XQC took the, took that from the rest of us. No, he's on YouTube, Twister Hero. Pediatri pediatrician disrespect. I think Tifu is on there, yeah. But I don't know. Um, I would say a couple things. I would say heart stuck at a thousand levels. No, we already bit. It's over. Yeah, it's over. We're just we're just trying to get a bonus level in here. I don't know. 
I don't know. I made I made my joke about it. I made my concern. Yeah, I just don't see any benefits over there. I have no brand loyalty though. Yeah. Uh, it's CK. Yeah. Let's -a go. I think the thing with this is for level one. I just don't think. One. Cause Pooh always goes one above. I don't think Kick's gonna be around for a long time, and I also worry that Kick could not handle like a crypto. Like, if Crypto dumped for a little while, could Kick handle that? I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just don't know if it could handle that. Um, the way Kick's set up right now, I just don't see any way they could be making money other than pushing people to the state casino and... I mean, that's not something I really have any interest in doing, so. Yeah, I just don't see it. I just don't understand what their long-term business plan is. And, um, I have a kid, so. Chasing a little extra money really doesn't do anything for me. I know kicks owned by stake. Yeah, I, I get that kicks owned by stake, but, like, That's what I'm saying, like, how much can stake keep doing if, like, let's say Bitcoin dumped to $26,000, right? That literally makes stake, that literally f kicks parent company, you know what I mean? Yeah. I just don't see anything. Yeah. What percentage of the population can beat me in a thumb war? Uh, I bet Mighty Mouse, Mr. Mighty Mouse could beat me to Thumb War. He's, he's the only human I'm scared of to Thumb War. Oh. Ah. What about Shaq? I, I might have, my hands might be bigger than Barb's. Honestly. Probably not. He's he is way taller than me, but I I do have relatively big hands. I have my thumbs, my my hands might not be like longer, but my fingers might be wider than his. I have pretty wide fingers. That's like the big like I don't know if you guys can see like it's really easy for me to press all four. Wait, hold on. Like see, it's really I can cover the entire all four buttons with just my thumb. You know, it's very easy. Yeah, I can go any three buttons with my thumb, no problem. Do I watch UFC? Um, yeah, but not religiously. Can I palm a basketball? Uh, yes. Especially like a good one with good grip. One that's been played outside all day. Like I can't like dribble it and grab it, but I, I could hired a handyman use my other hand to do it. Things I wanted done. He only did jobs one, three, and five. Turns out he only does odd jobs. But um, um. Uh, no, I just think Barb has normal hands for his size. That's what I'm saying. No. I, I mean, I don't know, honestly. I've never, I've never, like, I guess I've never put my hands next to his. Which is weird, because that's something that I've done with a lot of Kaizo players. You know what I mean? It's something that I always like to see, is, like, how big their hands are. Um, I don't know why I've never done it with him. I should have done it last time. I, I honestly have no concept. I know he's got pretty big hands, because the way he holds the 64 controllers, so... Yeah. How tall is he? Uh, I don't know, like 6'4", I would guess. Tall. <laughs> Alright. I don't think we're getting this chat. I don't think we're getting this one. 
I could beat him at basketball. Um, probably, but I play relatively often. Yeah, I just stand there and I'm like looking at people's hands, like, hmm, mother got big thumbs. Oh, come on. Couldn't even get to 1001. How big are my toes? Same thing, my big toe is like a pretty obnoxiously large, I guess I'd say. But they're not like long, they're just wide, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, normally when you go one on one with a Mario challenge, you got a 50 50 shot, but see, I'm a genetic freak. Kaizo Coliseum this year? Yes. Yes. Um. No, I don't know if Bart will be able to come. Um. Just his life. Yeah, just his life. Uh. No, but, I mean, I tell you right now, I, I will promise you all that, and I bet Barb could say this, you'll see him at a Kaizo Coliseum eventually one day again. Regardless if it's this year, next year, the year after. Um, it's something that I know he really enjoys. Ah, shit. Yeah, something that I know he really enjoys, yeah. It was super cool. By the way, me and him are playing Chain Together on Saturday. Yeah, I played the thousand. Like a dick measuring contest, but with hands? Pretty much. Uh, Gundog was good. Yeah, Gundog was good. Um, the only thing I'd say I'd complain about Gundog is, like, very obviously getting a sequel. Um, very, ob very, 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 very obviously getting a sequel. And there's a, he put out a short story that I thought was pretty pertinent. I wish he would have put it in the prologue. Let's go. Uh, but I liked it a lot. Like, it's, it's like, very cold in my hotel room, so like, I'm going to stand a in TV the corner show. where it's 90 degrees. I understand that. Ah. Yeah, I finished Cellscape before. How much levels left after the juggling? Um, honestly, I'm like, I just need to throw those four shells after that, and then we're at the end. And the end is a little hard, but it's a move that like I'm really, really good at now, and I wasn't good at it. No, I've never read anything Brandon Sanderson, like Wheel of Time. Everyone always suggests Brandon Sanderson. You know? I'm gonna read, yeah, I'm gonna read, um, Expanse. Sorry. I was concentrating. I'm gonna read Expanse next. I, ju I decided during the stream. We're reading it. Do I read physically? I like books, like book books. Yeah, I want I want like a legit book. I don't like Kindles even. I don't know what it is, but yeah, I wanna I wanna soft core soft cover book specifically. Then I'm gonna f that book up. I'm gonna fold all the pages. I'm gonna you know I'm gonna fold it and put it in my pocket and shit. Yeah. Yeah. I. Ah shit. Soft cover books, not soft core. 
surprised they don't have professional thumb war. Alright. Chad, I'm gonna call it. I'm just gonna call it. I know it's five minutes early, but... Dude, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I am. I've sucked. I've, Today my, at I'm the so bank, happy. a lady asked me to check her balance, so I pushed her over. <laughs> yeah, bud? You, you want to help me with the parts? Yeah. Okay, explain to me what, explain to me on the part that I'm missing, what I need to do. Explain, I'll tell you when I see it happening. Wait, play till I win, you see it happening? Oh yeah? Oh, okay. 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 Oh, yeah? Mm. Now? That part? Okay, so what do you want me to do on that part? Oh, okay. But I can't wall jump. Oh, you mean with the shell? Like that? Okay. Okay. Tell me if I do it right this time. Ah, I need to grab the second one. Yo, thank you for the $20. Uh, how did I get my name? Do you know how I got my name? Can you tell us the story about how Dad I got the name Graham Pooh Bear? Can you tell a story? Can you make one up? Yeah. Okay, make one up. Okay, do it. Say it, wait, say it in the microphone. Can you say it again? Yeah. What happened? So, how did I get the name Grand Pooh Bear? Well, I'm going to tell you how he got the name Pooh in the house. Story. Yeah, 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 that's true. But you got to say it in the microphone. They couldn't hear you. This is a fun story. In one part, how he got his name. Pooh part is how is why he pooped his pants in this story. Wait, tell the story. How did I get the name Grand Pooh Bear? There was this one kid who always pooped his pants. His name was Grand Pooh Bear. And this kid's name, Brandon, had these guys. And they were Puffer and Granny. And, and their last names were Bear. And then he decided his name would be that. Is so, and how he got the front name Pooh was because he pooped his pants so much. The end. The end. <laughs> you know what? 
I think that's the best way to cover the 100 hours chat. <laughs> Look at how many people are clapping. Do you see that? Yeah, there's a lot of people clapping. They're really happy. We just did a really, really, really hard long challenge. And I worked really, really hard. I you were clapping at Oh, is that what they were clapping at? Your story? Yeah. I think, uh, I think they're clapping for me. Oh, they're clapping for you? They might actually, yep, they said they're clapping for you. Yep, yeah, they're clapping for you and your story. Yay. Yep, one hundred percent you and your story. That's what they're clapping hey for. Hey, they're big guy. How yeah. are you? Are, are so you enjoying summer? Loving it. Yeah, more, they're more than one hundred. Yep. Do they want to know if you're enjoying summer? I am enjoying summer. Yeah. What's been so good about it? What's been your favorite part about summer? Um. I say every single day, poopy butt. What? <laughs> That's what I say every single day. What? What? I say every single day, poopy butt. What? What? I say poopy butt every single day. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. I say it every day, but now you're off. Mm, 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 mm. You just don't hear it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Um, chat. I will... Let's raid my boy. Let's raid my boy Chambo. Let's raid my boy <laughs> Chambo. Hey, look at that. <laughs> what? That the one that shakes his butt? Yeah, they're pet. Hey. On that one side. The ones that are shaking their butt, you think they're funny? Yeah. Yeah? It's funny when you do that. Look at that. Um, uh, I really appreciate Yeah, well, thanks again for like making this such an amazing <laughs> Thank you for making such an amazing, um, such an amazing, awesome time in. Um... I, I always want to eat a million strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> and making this like the best challenge. This is definitely probably one of the best challenges we've ever done. Um, I look forward to some of you. If I don't see you for a month because we're not doing a challenge, please come back for Elden Ring. Once Elden Ring's happening, um, you know, come back for that. Uh, we'll have a lot of. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna do. I want to do one the 112 and Hollow Knight. Between that, um, it's not like I'm gonna be streaming. Not tomorrow, but I'll be back on Saturday. Saturday, I'm doing Chain Together with Barb. Um, Sunday, we got Big Three. Maybe start Storks on Sunday. Um, yeah, I'm just taking one day off. Like we're just gonna go have one day off. It was a family. It was scheduled regardless if I won or not. Um, yeah, I'll have some Hollow Knight in between then. Um, Man, my thumb chat, I just realized how bad my thumb hurts. <laughs> oh my god. 